what she want cause deep down scared to lose her She asked for five racks and I give her that two times Yeah, I give her that two times Doing good for yourself, they want What's up YouTube, it's your boy CJ Pollock and back again with another NBA 2K17 video and today I'm going to show you guys how to cheese an NBA 2K17. Um, You guys see in the intro how I was spamming all the dribble moves in the freaking game and I was basically, I wasn't even going hard, basically all I was doing is just basically spamming my rhythm dribble and I spam my Kobe um um between the legs behind the back and then I hop step out of it man that's all I was doing and hitting the defenders and stuff like that or sometimes I momentum and put it behind my back is it's not hard bro I do basic stuff but I still catch ankles bro but all you have to do is follow everything I'm finna show you guys in this video man go ahead and put on all the signature size up moves everything I'm finna show you go ahead and put it on guys so make sure you guys go to my play inventory Go to NBA Dribble Moves. Put on ISO crossover too. You guys probably know about that. Um, this is a, actually a new beyond the back. Make sure you guys go ahead and put it on and make the crossover beyond the back more fluent. Um, hesitation. I use one rhythm dribble. I use normal five because this shit is so crazy. I could hop jumper out of it anytime. Or, or this is basically my backup escape move. Anytime I get stuck. I go between my legs and I hop jumper out of it. Just hop, hop. That's basically all I do, man. Once I get stuck, I hop jumper out of normal five, and that's my counter move right there. And the normal three, I basically use that to speed boost sometimes. I don't know why. Um, yeah, man. So everything you see right here, basically, go ahead and put it on. Between the legs, I actually use Kobe Bryant or or. On Kyle Lowry, it, it doesn't matter, bro. Whatever one, if I'm if I'm playing against bumps and randoms, I use um Kyle Lowry because it's kind of hard to get the combination together with um Kyle Lowry. So if I'm going against tryhards, I, I make sure I put on Kobe Bryant. So anytime you see I have Kobe Bryant on, I'm basically going hard, bro. So I'm gonna leave that on. Um, and now I'm gonna show you guys a few dribble moves you could you could do and and counter moves you could do and stuff like that. So let me go to my court and reset it a little bit. Guys, I'm telling you, man, the dribbling in NBA 2K17 is not hard. It's, it, it basically all have to do with the stick. And you got to know where you're pushing the stick and where you're flipping it to, bro. I catch ankles. I'm not a dribble guard. I get locked up sometimes, but I know how to escape out of some moves when I get stuck and stuff like that, man. It's not hard. It's very easy. I'm still learning. I'm still learning even though I play the game sometimes. And, like, I still remember how to dribble and stuff like that. Even when I don't play the game for a week i still could get on and be like oh I'm, I'm gonna do a few moves and i'm a streak that's basically all i do bro i don't do hard things i do very simple simple easy stuff so i'm gonna show you guys a few things i be doing man um so just grab i'm but I'm, I'm finna grab a basketball and let me too all right so i got a ball right so i'm so basically all i do man i spam my kobe escape right i spam it and then I hop jumper out of it, or sometimes I would do this, hop jumper back, momentum. But I do a lot of stuff. Then I momentum, like, bro, that's basically all I do, man. You gotta know where to flip your stick and stuff like that. I don't, I don't do hard things, bro. That's basically all I do. I just do stuff like, so I do simple things, man. I don't do hard things. I, I dribble very, I, my dribbling moves is very basic. Very, very basic and easy, bro. I don't do anything hard or like like you see how hint the hint the tank be going hard dribbling and stuff. I actually know how to dribble like that, but I don't force it, bro. You gotta let the, the, the game come to you. You don't if you don't know how to do something, just practice in your mic court before you actually go to the park and start spamming it. Cause you're gonna you're just gonna be fu you're just gonna be messing up, bro. I'm really not trying to curse, but you're gonna be messing up if you if you're trying to spam dribble moves and you don't know how to do it. And this jump shot I'm actually using is cash. I made a I made a video on it recently. So make sure you guys go ahead and check it out, man. But this is what I want to show you guys. This right here, man. This mo mo momentum behind the back. This actually makes the, the, the momentum behind the back faster. Normal four behind the back actually make the moment momentum behind the back more fluent. And what I noticed lately, 
you catch a lot more ankle using um crossover two and normal four four because when you, when you go beyond your back it's so crazy that is so freaking fluent bro like it, it just it's just going all in one motion but i'm about to, i'm about to do it right now so i'm on momentum and i'm gonna put it behind my back damn hold on my shit is on um, um freaking. I could tell when it's on freaking. What you call it? I could tell when it's on um, camera. To, oh, it's on absolute. So I don't know why my shit not working, bro. Like, look. All right, so momentum behind the back. See, it's way more fluent, bro. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Once normal four is on, it's way more fluent, guys. And Basically, man, whenever you spam your movement and you need a need an escape or a, a freaking backup plan, and when you get stuck, all you basically have to do is hop jumper, man. And this actually make your dribbling more faster, and you get more speed bursts and stuff like that, man. And this is the video for today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, man. It's your boy CJ Polo Kid, and I'm signing out, man. Peace. Catch you in the next one. So much water on my neck, my needle bottle song. Hey, so me.